Welcome back to Smithy's Over 100 Golf Courses in a Year. Today it's Friday the 15th of April, it's Good Friday, Easter time. And we're up on a wee trip round the west of Scotland for a few days. Mainly come up because my local team, Curtin Tillock Rob Roy, have got a big game tomorrow in Irvine. Looking forward to that, but today it's a golf. And this is course number 31, it's called Venn Golf Club in Dumfrieshire. I was here, oh, 2010. In our annual golf trip one year we came here and I just happened to win. So I know I enjoy the course. Looking forward to it. Let's go and see what it's got. Oh, forgot to mention uh, the heart of the day. This is the honourable company of Iona Golfers. It was gifted to me when I went to Iona. So let's get it worn. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 31 of 2022. It's Colven Golf Club on the tee. The man who's come up to Scotland for the big football match this weekend. Yes, it's Kirk and Tillich Rob Roy against Talking Like Talbot. That's a big up to Kirk and Tillich Rob Roy manager Stuart Maxwell and the boys. Mon the Roy from Kirk and Tillich in Scotland. Smithy! It's the first at Colven. We're starting with a par 4, 251 yards. It's a tight one. It's one that you don't forget. Straight up the hill. Where's the chair lift? And there's the flag away at the top. Let's see if I can zoom in on it there. Yep, yeah, there it is up there. This is behind the green at the first. It's definitely a steep one. My legs will testify. The view back down to the clubhouse down there. This is the second at Colvin, par 3, 111 yards. Now we don't mind uphill par 4s, but not uphill par 3. This is the green at the second. I'm going to have to retract my uphill par 3 complaints. Smithy ball on the green there, about 12 foot away. Early birdie opportunity. Tee shot in the third. Par 4, 341 yards. Uh, down towards the marker post. I can't remember where the green is. I don't know if that's it. A way down the bottom left hand corner or whether that's the next par 3. Uh, so way first in the background. Cracking view. And uh, from us Glasgow people, we call it a pure stota. And this is the view down to the... From the second shot at the third. In the middle of the fairway, uh, it's downhill, slight rise up again. And there we go as the Solway Firth opens out. That abounds with the ball there. Par 3 fourth at Cove End, 164 yards. Uh, sloping from left to right. Fifth at Cove End, 300 yards down the hill. The bay in the background. But a gorse at the front. Do you like a gorse out in full bloom slowly? Uh, unfortunately, we're going downhill, but that's the sixth coming back up the hill. Second shot at the fifth. It's a wee bit deceptive. You think it's going to go way down to the left, but the green actually sticks closely to the right beside the wall here, so it's tucked in. Be in the background. Let's have a look at this for the setting. Yeah, up the hill there. Of all that goss up in the hill, let's have a closer look at that. And back down to the green. Right, going back up the hill at the sixth at Cove End, par four, 330 yards. It's like dog leg to the right once you get up the hill. It's a view down the seventh, 319 yards, par four. Downhill, it's going to slight dog leg to the left. Tremendous bike drop with the bay again. There's that bit of goss up in the hills, uh, quite close to the clubhouse. Uh, right round the course, there's a tremendous amount of bird song. I'm fully expecting glory again, or I will survive. And it's raining men by the weather girls to come out. Oh dear, I'll get pelters for that one. Ah, oh, it's a par 3 eighth, 177 yards. And what you can't see from the tee is the, the hole's called the burn. And there's a big burn right in front of the green. See if we can miss it. Ah, and this is the green at the eighth. No sign of my ball. I think I've hit it too hard, I've gone, had a wee look. Uh, right through the back, I think, and out of bounds. But yeah, it's at danger right in front of the green. And then the temptation is, if you hit it too hard to get over it, out of bounds, the road at the back. Oh, across the road now, this is the ninth at Colf End. And the other part of the course, it's 286 yards, par four. Steep rise up the hill after a level start. Ah, oh, and this is a look back down the 
past four and nine. Uh, so you come up the hill steeply, nice backdrop there, past the flag. But let's pan right. There it is, ten foot away. Another birdie opportunity. Tenth, par four, two, two, three yards, so it's a short one. Reachable, but I can't see where it is. Let's see, oh, there's a little yellow flag sticking out away over the top. Kind of sloping fairway, rising up, and then it must be a dip down to the green. This is a green at the tent, you can see why it's a par four. Two big bunkers sitting right in front of the pin. And then there's hardly anything behind the pin. So, not a lot to, not a big green to aim at from the tee. And this is what happens when you don't pay the hole any respect. Hit it straight through the green, away up into the woods. Too much porridge this morning. 11th, uh, it's a dog leg, almost 19 degrees. 283 yards, going to dog leg to the left. That's the backdrop. We look out for the scenery as well, out to the Solway Firth there. It's the second shot, uh, dog leg 11, up the hill to the green. Wonder if the Bryson DeChambeau's will uh, take on the woods. Get a tee back up there, right across the woods. There, perfectly doable. This is the 12th, 399, so longest hole so far. Uh, par 4, uh, it's got water along near the green on the right hand side. This is the part of course I remember from back in 2010. A series of three longer holes. But most of them have been relatively short par 4 so far. Still fraught with danger. And that's a look down the 12th fairway, uh, right hand side the water. Going in and out, so it's very very dangerous. It's even more dangerous if you're not in the fairway or you're way out right. Look where my bag is out there. Right across the water, we're going to have to lay up. And this is the green at the 12th, the pond just in front of it there. I didn't mean to take it on, but I inadvertently did. Just managed to scrape over for three on the right hand side. Lovely hole though, very tough. 13th, 417 yards, big long one. Stroke index one. Now on the left hand side down the fairway, you've got that pond there. That's back on the left hand side to the 12th green. And you're coming down here, I think it's going to dog leg. Uh, but it's quite a tight fairway. Tough hole again. Here's the view of the 13th fairway. Up to the green there, still a long way for me. That pond uh, is still sitting there in front, dangerous. But no, it's a lovely hole. It's the 14th. Uh, the only par 5 in the course, 508 yards. Uh, wall up the left, that pond, just on the right hand side there, hopefully get over that. Uh, last day trio of uh, three longer holes in this part of the course. That's a shot down the uh, 15th at Colvend. Uh, shorter par 4 again, uh, 279 yards. Uh, bunker up on the left there before it falls down to the green. A 16th at Colvend, uh, it's 160 yards. Only par three in the back nine. Uh, could be a bit tight with the tree overhanging trees there. It's so relatively straightforward if you hit it straight. This is the 17th, it's a par four at 218 yards. You might ask why is it a par four at 218 yards? Because it's going to dog leg sharply to the left and the green is there, <laughs> down that way. So I uh, don't even think even the Brysons can uh, have a go at that one. Reached the 18th at Colvend, finishing with short par 4, 266 yards. Again, it's a tricky one. Uh, see the flag up between the trees there? So I think you're going to have to hit it out to the left to give me space to approach the green. Second shot to 18. Clubhouse on the left hand side. That's me just finished at Colvend. A lot of fun. Uh, the course is sort of split into two bits. Start off with a big uphill par four and then a short uphill par three. From then on you work your way back down the hill, down the side of the hill, uh, down to the eighth, a very tricky hole, lovely par three. Uh, come across the road and it's uh, woodland on the other side of the road. Uh, some big longer holes on the other side of the road. Uh, of course it's in uh, very nice condition. Greens are still a couple of weeks behind, but it's the same way loads of courses with no heat at the moment, needs a wee bit of growth. 
before you can get the greens perfect. Uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed the course. It's, uh, it looks quite easy on the surface. There's seven par fours that are under 300 yards, but there's a lot of tricks up its sleeve. And really, if you don't concentrate, it's going to catch you out like it did me, because you think the hole's a bit too easy, and then it bites you. Uh, my favourite bits was uh, the two big long par fours, 12 and 13, where the ponds are. Up on the far side of the course, absolutely excellent. Lots of lovely views, especially in the front nine. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. What am I going to give it? Uh, it's going to be a 7.75 for me today. And uh, like I mentioned, very friendly in the clubhouse as well. Lovely place to come and play. Thank you.